Hello, Craig here from Eagle Eye. Today, the sign word of the day is brought to you by the letter G, as in graphic removal. Today, we're going to talk about graphic removal. We're going to talk about suggested pricing, some different tools that we use, and some techniques. Let's dig in. Okay, so I'm standing in front of a trailer that we just finished wrapping up today. And I thought we'd talk about graphic removal. You know, it's one of the worst jobs that we hate in the sign industry. If you ask anybody how much they charge for graphic removal or can they do it, everybody does nothing but complain and moan. It is one of the worst parts of our job. So what is a suggested price for graphic removal? Well, I can tell you years ago, I used to charge a dollar a minute. Everybody thought I was crazy at $60 an hour for graphic removal. However, today's pricing, I'm seeing a hundred plus dollars an hour for graphic removal. It is a horrible job. It's ugly, it's nasty, it's dirty, it's, you get glue everywhere. But we're going to show you some different tools that we use for graphic removal and then we'll talk about some techniques and we'll go from there. So here's one of the good old tried and true tested tools that we use for graphic removal and that's a good old heat gun. Now I like this Wagner heat gun that I uh, have here at the shop and I was actually introduced to this heat gun and no this is not a commercial for Wagner. But what I do like is the different temperature settings that it has. And it also has a cool down setting after you're done working. So you hit the button and it cools the element down. Because that's what goes bad in these heat guns is the element. Let me show you another tool that we use because what if you're out in the field and you don't have electricity? Let me show you. So this is probably the most used tool in our tool bag next to squeegees. This is a trigger start torch with just a can of propane. Very portable. You can use it wherever. It throws out a lot of great heat. You can pick these up in bulk at your local shopping club, Sam's or Costco, and it keeps the cost down. So I do like the propane torch, but you have to be careful because of the heat that comes out is so hot, you have to really either keep moving when you're doing a removal and never start it on top of your graphic because you'll immediately burn it. So this is one of our favorite tools that we use a lot out in the field. Like I said, we use it for graphic removal, but we also use it for our installs if we need to shrink or wrap our material. But great for graphic removals and very portable. One, another one of our favorite tools is this tool. Now this is a five pound can of propane and this is what they call a weed burner. Now weed burner is a great tool just like the propane torch that I just showed you. But this really throws a lot of heat. This is really a two-man operation if you're using this tool. You want to throw a lot of heat such as on this trailer and then another person pull the graphic. You never want to do this kind of by yourself because well obviously this end gets hot you got to set it down. So I highly recommend that if you use this method make sure you have two of you. This is a very good method if you're stripping a big vehicle, a big car wrap, a big trailer wrap, one of those items. That way you can have two of you on this and really throw a lot of heat and pull down the graphic. I needed to reshoot this part of the video due to a little technical difficulty, but I wanted to make sure that this tool was here and shown to you because this is a really great removal tool also for graphic removal. Now this one is the bad boy. We pull this one out when we have some real difficult graphics. Let me show it to you. This is called the MBX removal tool. Now it has a nice handle here that you can hold on to and basically what this is is a giant eraser that spins and 
takes the graphics off. Now you can see it leaves a lot of dust, but we pull this one out when we have the really hard decals that we need to remove. Now that machine is a little pricey. That machine is about two or three hundred dollars just for the machine itself. And then the wheels are roughly about twenty, twenty-five dollars each. I think I picked that one up at Feller some time back. But it is a great tool. Now the only bad part about it is that when it removes the graphics because it's like a giant eraser, it leaves dust everywhere. So if you do a graphic removal, plan on washing or rinsing the vehicle down after you get done using this tool. Okay, so we've been talking about some of the tools that we use and you've got your graphics off now. How do you get the glue off? Well, there's a couple products out there that I like to use. One of them is called Rapid Remover from the same people that make Rapid Tack. Now the Rapid Remover is very nice because it's a little more friendlier to the environment. It's a citrus based uh, Rapid Remover or glue remover. It's made from orange peels. So it's kind of a citrus, it's got an orange smell to it. It's a great product, but sometimes I don't find that it's strong enough. Now, one of the products that I use a lot of is the Goof Off. Now, I'm not doing a commercial for Goof Off, and I do like this product. A couple drawbacks to it, though. It's a petroleum based, uh, so it's got a lot of heavy fumes best used outside but it's very strong but when you're using it outside if you're in a sunny environment it will evaporate fast but it seems to cut the glue really good now I like both products and I carry both products on our vehicles when we're out doing removals graphic removals so you kinda gotta test to see which product works the best for the glue removal for the graphic removal there we go lots of letter G's today Okay, so what's some of the techniques that we use? Well, obviously we showed you that we use heat to remove the graphic. But when I say techniques, I'm talking about how you pull the graphic off. You know, sometimes you have to pull the graphic straight out so it pulls the glue with it. Sometimes you pull the graphic back onto itself. Not quite as much as you would removing mask or transfer tape, but close to it. Sometimes you have to pull just nice and straight out or back on itself. Those techniques are kind of a little trick to help remove a lot of the glue. And you gotta test it with the heat. It takes a lot of work. Graphic removal is not one of our favorite jobs. Now at the beginning of the video I touched on cost. I know I said a dollar a minute and that a lot of people used to complain that was too expensive but now I'm seeing over a hundred dollars an hour but all these products and techniques that I've showed you such as the goof off the rapid remover the MBX wheel the propane they all cost something they're expensive and well that cost that I'm mentioning per hour well that includes those materials and of course graphic removal is labor intensive and we all know labor is probably one of our most expensive costs in our sign shops. Well, there you go. Sign word of the day brought to you by the letter G, graphic removal. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. It had lots of information. I tried to touch on everything. As always, like and subscribe to our video. Tell us what you think. Let me know. I'd like some feedback on the cost per hour on the graphic removal. Anyway, follow us online, eagleeyesigns.net, and as always, thank you for your support.